Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we have two objectives. Our first is we're going to write some routes inside of Express to handle post requests and then we're going to test those routes using Postman and make sure they work. Now just to give a quick review, remember that you have different HTTP verbs such as get, post, put, delete, so on and so forth. So right now, up until now, all we've written are get requests. app.get and then whenever we send a get request it will do whatever is inside of that route. So what happens now if we want to send a post request? As of right now, if we send a post request to slash, nothing will happen. It'll just send back an error message saying that the route's not defined. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new application. Instead of express routing, we're going to get rid of this. This, this served us well for what we were wanting to learn, but, but we're going to start afresh and get some more experience building new applications. So let's go ahead and get out of express routing. Go up a level. CD dot dot will go up a level. Let's let's make a new directory. Make directory, and we'll call this one um, intro to posts. Let's CD into that, and then we're going to do our npm init and go through this process. Intro to post is fine. That's the version. That's the description. App dot js is our entry point and just go through all the rest of these. Yes, that's perfectly fine. All right, so now our directory has been created and our package.json is there. Look at it, yep, it's exactly what we want. So now we have to in install a few things. So npm, oops. So npm i, we need to install express, and we need ejs. All right, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and make our app.js touch app.js open that up and add our app.js boilerplate const express equals require express const app equals express called as a function then we can go ahead and set our view engine engine so app.set view engine ejs and do app.listen, our port is 3000, and then our callback, console.log, app.listening on port 3000. And let's go ahead and run no daemon app.js just to make sure it runs without any errors. It's not doing anything yet, but I just want to make sure that I didn't make a typo or something like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and just create a basic index route, or a root route, app.get on the root, request response, as always, request.send, because we're not actually, don't have any views yet, so request.send root route. Now let's run it again and make sure it works. root route works fine. Okay, so our app is running and it's doing what it's supposed to do. So let's go ahead and shut it down and create a views directory. Make dir views. And I am going a little bit quickly on this because we've already covered this. Feel free to pause and rewind as needed. I just don't want to, to bore anyone or waste anyone's time if you've already are used to this. So we've got a views directory and let's touch views index dot EJS. So we now have inside of views, we have an in, oops, I'm in the wrong one, views index.ejs. Let's just add HTML head. I'm not using partials right now just because it's not worth the trouble to set them up because we're demonstrating other things. And inside of the head, we want a title, my title. And inside of the body, we just want an H1 that says, um, I don't know, welcome to my page. And app.js, instead of res.send, we're going to res.render index. Let's run it, no daemon, app.js, refresh, and it works. Welcome to my page, working fine. So we are rendering this index. So that works. So now that we have this very, very basic boilerplate set up, let's get into a little bit more about what this we want this app to do. This app is going to basically be a catalog, a list of things that I own. 
Um, you are welcome to pick whatever category you want. I'm going to use books because I like to read and I enjoy books. So let's add an app.get slash books. And whenever this happens, we basically want to show a list of books. So request response. And it's going to be um, res.render books. Now I haven't made this file yet. I haven't made this yet. So let's go ahead and make that. Touch views slash books.ejs. And inside of there, I'm just going to copy this over to save us some time and put my books. And inside of the H1, it's going to put a list of my books. And then have an unordered list of all of my books. Now, this is just a placeholder right now. We're going to use EJS to actually list the books. Um, so, for the books, we'll put, um, see, I'm reading Turn Code right now by Jim Butcher. Turn Code, I'm rereading that. Jim Butcher, it's a fantastic book. Um, let's see, we could also do, let's add another LI. Um, the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander, or Alexandra, Alexandre Dumas. Um, this too is fine for now. I don't, I can't see my um, bookshelf from where I'm sitting, so I'm, I'm drawing a blank for books that I've been reading. Oh, I read um, a meeting at Corvallis lately. What was that author's name? S.M. Sterling. A much, much worse book than the other two on this list. It was okay. It was just wasn't fantastic. Um, the first one in that series was pretty good. The second one was kind of meh, and this third was kind of meh. I think I'm done with the series. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So now we have this, and it is being rendered when we go to books. So am I, is my server running? It is not. Demon app.js. And if I go to slash books, I should get that page. Yep, right there. So now what we want to do is instead of rendering a static list of books, as right here, we want that to be right here. So let's go ahead and make const books equals an array. Now let's just copy that stuff over. So now I have those three titles and authors as a array. So inside of books, I want to pass that array. Again, remember, it could be books colon books, but ES6 shorthand lets us just write it once. And inside of our books here, we're going to do a for each. So for books dot for each. So for each book, I'm just adding these script tags along the way because I find it easier. So for each book, we want to return an li of that book. Let's see if this works. Refresh. Yep, still works like a charm. So we are having no problems with that. So now we've got our um, books array as of right here rendering down here. And this is all review. We've this is this has been stuff that we've already doing. Um, we've already done. So this is, this is nothing new thus far. We're just setting up for our next one. But now, we want to be able to add to this list of books. Let's say I go um, to Amazon and buy a new book, or go to Barnes & Noble or something and buy a new book. So this is where your post route comes in. So app, instead of app.get, we're going to do app.post. Whenever you post to slash books, we want to do something else. Request response. And again, this, this part right here is the same. And all I'm going to do here is res.send books post route. Just to see and make sure that we actually hit it. Now, the catch with this is that, as I mentioned before, you can't send a post request through a browser easily. You have to build a form for it. So instead, we're going to do postman. copy this URL while Postman loads. And instead of making a new one, I'm just going to change this, update this one. Get all 
all this and post books. So it's making a post request to slash books. Send, and let's see what we get back. We get back books post route, which is exactly what we want. That's exactly what we were supposed to get, books post route. So we know that this route is actually working. However, if I go to um, the website slash books, we get this. And again, this is just a um, this is just a convention. This is just a, a the type of request. This is the HTTP verb right here. Whenever we get a get request to slash books, do this. Whenever we get a post request to slash books, do this. That's the only difference. This is using the exact same URL, but it's just the type of request that is different. It's just the request verb that is different. Generally speaking, get request get requests get information. Post requests send information to create new things most of the time. This is just a protocol, but it's a protocol that almost all websites follow. In the next video, we're going to learn how we can use a form to send a post request from the browser instead of having to do it with Postman, because it would be pretty awkward if we had to have all of our users download and install Postman to send requests. Postman is a debugging tool. It's not a end-user tool. So we're going to learn how to use HTML forms, just the basic forms that we've already dealt with, to send post requests. In this video, we did several things. We made a new app using npm init, and we installed Express and EJS. We also made a um, index route, app.get index, or root rather, and we made an app.get books route. Inside of that books route, the app.get books route, we created a constant of books, and it just has three books listed right now. And we are rendering a books.ejs file, passing in this constant of books. And as things get added to this, those will be reflected on the books page. We also made an app.post books page. What we are going to do with this is we are going to update this constant right here. We're going to change this constant and add things to it so that when we look at this other, um, we'll look at the books page, we'll have more items than just these three that we started with. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.